Ladies and gentlemen, I will welcome you to the second best exotic Marigold Hotel. We can't believe our good luck that we're back here in India doing the second one. Fantastic. Mrs. Evelyn Greenslade. Here. Mr. Douglas Ainsley. Here. Mrs. Muriel Donnelly. What's left? The Marigold Hotel has been going properly for eight months now. It's a very extraordinary thing, I think, to get an entire cast together again. The fact that we're doing a sequel for a movie like this in itself is a massive victory, I think. A ray of sunshine on a dark day. And you see all these familiar faces, and it just feels like home. Everywhere we go, people are so thrilled by the idea of a sequel. Madge Hardcastle! Here. Sunny takes a roll call every morning. A most valuable precaution to ensure that nobody has died in the night. Action. The surprise to all of us, which is obviously a, a, a very pleasant one, was, you know, how widely the first film connected with people. It just took off. You know you're in a hit when you start getting phone calls from people who complaining they can't get into the cinema. And it just gathered momentum and became this big, big success. And the number of people who've seen it is, is amazing. Everyone left the cinema with what is clearly called that feel-good feeling. Lord, Lord, have mercy on my ovaries. The first film it was terrific. I was pleased to see such a really good script the second time around. And that doesn't happen all that often either. And I don't think there was anyone involved with that first film that was thinking, oh, of course we're going to do two. I think it just happened around some good ideas and something kind of wonderful developed. Have dinner with me. You should marry that girl. I want to. Although the first film concluded in a satisfactory way, it nevertheless was the beginning of a different life for these people. It became clear that, that actually the first film had only told half the story. There was another whole journey to go. Graham, the producer, called all the, the actors, because obviously I wasn't going to be into it if the principals didn't want to do it. And so he called them and said, look, I don't know, it's just possible, would you be into it? And all of them, without, were just like, yes, and tell all to stop thinking about it and get on and do it. I think it's a great compliment to the first one. It's incredibly joyous, like India, as we're here during the wedding season, so there are wedding processions everywhere we go, seeing elephants and horses and people singing and dancing. Well, wait for part two. The great and terrible thing about life is just so much potential.